Namaste, my friend, and welcome to Namaste Today in the Zodiac Weather. My name is Christopher Otecki, the Sensei to Serious Joy. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me today. This is a hump day show. It's Wednesday, September 10th, 2014, and today action and ego rule the day. I don't know if you saw The Circle Wisdom last week, the show that I was on with Christopher One Feather. We were debating in that show whether or not action energy or ego is necessary. Because all these light workers say to rise above ego. Abraham Hicks says rise above ego. But I argue it's one of the 12 states of awareness and something that we have to manage and live with. But today, specifically, we do. Ego rules the day today, which is people putting it out there, and sometimes that's all they're doing is putting it out there. Whether or not you have the other eight steps before the action is kind of dependent on the person. But everyone today will be racing ahead. Everyone today will be feeling the action energy. Everyone today will be lit up in the root chakra. But before we dive into the actions of the day or what to do or not do, let's first tame our brain with the phrase of the day. I decide I am ready to act. I decide I am ready to act. And make that decision, feel it in your heart and say it out loud. Because a lot of times when the right time comes to act, we haven't decided that we want to act ahead of time. So if you have it kind of in your mind to be mindful that you've already decided that you're ready to act, it's just a matter of the right action at the right time, then you are really set up with your brain to cooperate with the day. So I decide I am ready to act. Say it loud and say it proud. Today we're in the serious step 18. Now that's the 10, I love and trust, and the eight, my decisions. That's the premise of the day. We love and trust the decisions we've already made, and what that does is adds up to a quantum nine. We act when it's time to act, and action is an important part of the 11 Steps of Serious Joy. It's an important part of manifestation, and it's the reason why religions have ritual is the action energy. Now this joyful prep is actually manifestation. We want to stay in touch with our feelings, the two. We want to be mindful of our decisions. And when it feels right and lines up with our decisions, it will manifest. That's the joyful prep. So what I feel and decide, what I feel and what I have decided is what will manifest today. What you feel and what you decide. To think is not enough. To feel is what's necessary. Now, speaking of feelings, the moon also dive into Aries in the step nine. So the moon itself is in Aries also so this amps up the day and adds a lot more of emotional passion to people's lives also makes people emotionally impatient which means you might need extra self-soothing now let's see how this affects the chakras it's very simple when we're talking action energy we're talking root chakra the red root at the bottom you might want to ground today walk barefoot in the grass make sure you eat a solid breakfast make sure you ground yourself exercise is excellent way to ground and visualization of taking all the energy and just letting mother earth have it is part of it nature will also ground you so these are things we can do so that we don't react or act out right that's when we have an overly charged root chakra now the moon also in aries adds more emotional passion to this people probably be out hooking up to some degree because we also have mars in scorpio and saturn in scorpio so the root chakra and war sex and war basically is sort of pushing the day i'm afraid um, now today pushing our conversation i don't know if you saw but last week we had a great conversation called the circle of wisdom that goes live at 5 p.m eastern and we welcome you to come join the conversation i've got some hot topics i'm going to bring up with master one feather this week and continue our debate on ego so everyone's welcome to come down to tweetdoc.tv and watch live if you have a webcam you can hop on and i'd love to meet you i want to meet people who are out there and then later this day we have modern mommies with jennifer perry and alexis and more they're talking about to spank or not spank children which i thought that was kind of an obvious one but i live in california apparently people still spank in texas that's interesting but uh they'll be inviting all mommies who uh, want to have the discussion and a couple of little surprises that's at 7 p.m eastern time also at tweetalk.tv now looking at planet soup what does god have cooking up for us today it's a two-part day we start with step 17 in the morning so we are being decisive still on the reality virgo that we want to work on and then by the afternoon then opportunity may knock for action or be time to take action the moon, like I said, is aggressive in Aries, making people emotionally impatient and probably needing extra emotional self-nurturing. 
and later today the moon will cross over Uranus so this will be an invitation let's just call it that way to respond differently okay now this is where the Yod was for several days if you've been watching it was pointing to Uranus we are innovating our definition of masculinity and isn't it funny that on the day that we do take action our emotions cross that innovation so in each of your 12 zodiac weather scopes I'll be talking about where to emotionally respond and you will feel the odd come true uh, basically in the next 24 hours now adding to the conflict shall we say mercury is opposing the moon today and they oppose directly at step 12 so what this says is thoughts and emotions may be on different sides of the fence your thoughts may be this way and your feelings about something might be that way and it looks like if there's step 12 opposition then the best thing to do is to think differently and feel differently both that's the way to manage your consciousness today no matter what you get stuck in try something different on both sides of the fence but Mars is at the Grandmaster 27 Scorpio, so it is pushing us to make change. Push, push, push. There's a lot of push energy. This is the impatience people are uh, having and feeling. And this is also kind of the, uh, you know, some of the, uh, what's the word? Snottiness, I guess, is what I'm seeing out there. So it is Mars 27. But it just adds up to the Martian energy of the day, which means today's a day to get things moving. So looking at the Sensei Sunrise. The serious step of the day is 18. So today you want to love and trust the decisions you've already made in life. That's the first thing. And um, be ready to act. We've already decided this is what we're looking for. So when we see it cross our way, boink, we are ready to pounce or ready to make a move, ready to make a step. Or we are ready to make a reaction when something comes our way. The joyful prep is to stay in touch with your feelings and to be mindful of your decisions also. So your feelings will tell you if something is not right and it will definitely tell you if something is right. And so today is a day where people do get things done and one should take action when one can. Now that leads me to today's ponder. What actions define you? The truth is, if you want to study reality, which is what I love to study, the architecture of incarnation, what defines us really are our actions. You can talk, 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 but what you do is always what counts, right? So it is the action that makes things happen. It is action that turns into ritual and religion. And in my study of manifesting reality, you have to, because we're talking about human consciousness and perception, it's almost like a safety valve is built into the matrix to keep idiots from auto manifesting just from their thoughts. You got to get off the couch and do something to actually manifest. Thank God us for that. We'd be uh, very, very uh, messy here on earth if everyone's just manifesting who weren't, uh, who, who can't get up and try. So there is a part of consciousness that makes us get up and try and you know going back to the ancient names if you were a plumber or you know a bricklayer your name was named after that because what you did is who you are the truth is is people sometimes pay attention to actions now sometimes don't but the matrix does and like yesterday i said what do you make most real what do you spend all of your time you know creating in reality Today I ask a different question. What actions are you taking all day? Are you Facebooking all day? Are you texting all day? What are we doing with our action? What are we putting into motion over and over and over again? And you know what? Action step nine is the most obvious. You can just stop yourself from doing it if you want. <laughs> On the same token, for those people who are afraid to take action, today's a day where you can change your stripes by taking action in a time when you normally hadn't. On the same side of that coin, on the other side of that coin, sometimes you might be a person that always acts and today, hands behind your back, you don't take action, which is an unsubscribing. You're unsubscribing from a certain world. Either way, today, on a step 18 day, which by the way is the day of my birthday, I'm a step 18 Taurus, so I know step 18, I live it, I love it, I know that actions at the end of the day define us and on a day like today, your actions or non-actions will define your character. All right, think about that and I'll be right back.
Thank you so much for joining us here in the Solmart shop. Guess what? People have been asking. Yes, 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 I am working on the background to tape the Megascope monthlies for Saturn, uh, September, and October. They are in production and they will come out shortly. They take a long time because they do a really good job. And I just want to put out there that I haven't forgot about them. They'll be out uh, here shortly. One more class available to get in front of me live on cam. The Art of Reading People will be on September 17th. Look forward to taking that with people as well. And if you need any help with Solmart product, don't hesitate to email us at help at solmart.me. These are all, of course, available at solmart.me. We'll have more about the megascopes here shortly. But before you check on your megascopes, let's take a look at the moods of each of your brothers and sisters and what they're feeling today, starting with the Scorpios. Scorpios! Sunny and I think aggressive with all this Martian energy, like uh, ready to fire. You know what? Here's the thing. Respond differently in the now. So you're going to get emotionally charged by something in your presence, but respond differently in the now. That's how you upgrade that behavior. Leo, sunny and philosophical today. Time to respond differently to new ideas. All right. And I mean that in both versions of the new. So, if, you know, if it's an idea you've always known, respond differently to that kind of idea. If it's a brand new idea, respond differently. Respond a way you don't normally respond to the new. Cancer, sunny and professional. Respond differently to your career options today. If you normally get pissed, don't. If you normally don't, do. Whatever, Cancer. But respond emotionally differently to your career. Step three is the Sages. Sunny and childlike. I think they're feeling really good, which is nice. Sag is always nice. Respond differently, though, to that inner child. Do you normally ignore the inner child? Do you normally pout? Whatever it is, try something different when you respond to that inner child. Step four, the Aquarius is sunny and chatty today, which is rare. You know, we see the Aquarius is out sharing, but today they will be out there sharing. Respond differently to mind games. So if you normally go down some sort of path and worry, 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 well, do something else. Try something different today. Step five, the Geminis, sunny and social. Time to respond differently to the public. So change your public response. Throw a curveball in there, basically. Step six, the Librans. Sunny with a chance of handy today, I think, for the Librans. Respond differently in your partnerships. So respond differently. No matter what you've tried, try something new. Step seven, the Pisces, sunny and productive today. Respond differently when it comes to your self-confidence. So if you're normally a wimp about it, don't be. If you're normally not pretty confident about it, be something even more confident or be confident for different reasons, but up your ante emotionally. Step eight, the Capricorns, sunny nesting and resting today. You gotta basically respond differently to your own feelings. Most cases, Capricorns need to be nicer to themselves. They usually can be really hard and not, not soft. So maybe that's the new respond, but respond differently to your feelings today. Step nine, the Aries, sunny, cool with the moon in their sign. Respond differently to any conflicts today, Aries. Yeah, try something new, something you never tried before. Respond emotionally differently to any conflicts that come in front of you. Step 10, the Taurus is cloudy, private, er. Respond differently to God. What? <laughs> I'm gonna have to meditate on that. But that's what it means in pure form. Basically, whatever you basically do to spirit emotionally, throw it up the air, whatever, respond differently to higher spirit. The virgins, sunny chance of anxiety today with all this uh, Martian energy, I think. But you wanna respond differently to trusting. All right, so respond differently. Give yourself a different way of trusting. Tell yourself something different. Draw a different line. Suddenly do trust if you don't normally, you know, but up it up. Just try something new. Get out of the ruts is what it's saying. All right, and this brings us to our little final light walker parade. The serious step of the day, step 18 video will explain to you how to love and trust and make the right decisions. It is a seven minute video that I recorded some time ago to help people understand step astrology. If you were born today, you can check out the step 18 because you are natally a step 18 person like me. On Venus Prime Health, we're releasing another little mini episode. This one has to do with jumpstarting your health and it, believe it or not, try skipping breakfast. We'll explain what that means. And the Herbal Mystic, skip! We have a new skip episode out. 
uh, where he is macho and dressed this way, and he's helping us through the Virgo details. Don't miss Skip. He's also in the Light Walker Parade. If you'd like to work with us, come on down to our Contact Us page. I've been saying hi to a lot of people, actually. That's, of course, on soulgarden.tv. If you're watching on YouTube, please be kind and do subscribe. We appreciate that and it helps us out with our relationship with YouTube. Facebook, you can come on down to soulgarden.me and you can like us, and I'm always posting cool stuff there. And, of course, the mothership. Come down to soulgarden.tv, and if you care, share. Tell us, tell your friends who we are. Tell your friends about us. We appreciate that. That's a beautiful spreading of the light. Now, in Soul Nirvana, I've been thinking about songs, and I've come up with a good one. This is an oldie but a goodie, but it's really good for uh, actually stepping up in the action energy. Maybe you remember it, Chumba Wamba, I Get Knocked Down. I know it got very repetitive, but... This is one where it's like I've always felt good about this song because I've been knocked down a lot, but I get back up, right? I get up again. That's what I like about this song. And not many songs talk to you about getting back up and being okay if things get knocked down. But today is definitely a day where if you get knocked down, you get right back up. That action energy is about taking action in your life, and you will feel it today, my friend. Just go with your heart and be mindful of what you really want. All right, I'll see you in 24 hours. It's getting fun out there. Remember, I love you and live, love, be.